So we are in Salem. Yes. <laughs> I've already made a huge mistake. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> we, we actually called an Uber to come pick us up at our Airbnb. And me being the genius that I am, put in Derby Street instead of Derby Square. So we got Two parked. very different things. So we got dropped off literally short of where we're supposed to be. So now we're walking. We're gonna get there 30 minutes early and now we're gonna get there 10 minutes before. So, no big deal, at least we're still gonna make it. A uh, typical move. Typical James move, what the hell. Um, of both of us. <laughs> but yeah, we have a tour tonight. It is the Witch City Walking Tour. It's, it was ranked the number one haunted tour in Salem, which is really cool. It's exciting. So it's about an hour and a half to two hour tour, just depending on how engaged I guess everyone is and um, the storytelling and how it goes. So we're really excited. We'll show you guys what that looks like. We're excited to see Salem. We heard on the way here uh, from multiple people that last weekend, they had 80,000 people in Salem last weekend and we are the weekend before Halloween. So potentially there's gonna be way more than that. Well, and our host just said that there were 100,000 people here at this time last year <clears throat> within this week. And this year it was 200,000 people within this week. So they've already doubled it. So. <laughs> yeah, so pretty crazy. Salem is, Salem is going off right now. Popular. Yes. More and more every year. <laughs> more and more popular, which I get it. I mean, it's really cool. And, you know, the Hocus Pocus movie just came out. So people yeah. are hyped about that. Yeah, absolutely. So I totally understand. And from vlogs and things too, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, there's been so many more vlogs and we're just adding to the, uh, adding to the list. Yes. Um, but yeah, we have a bunch of stuff Sorry. planned to do this weekend that we're gonna take you guys along and see all the Hocus Pocus stuff and some really cool historical things. And uh, yeah, we'll show you what all we get into. Our first full day in Salem. Yes. <laughs> so we didn't really update you guys about the tour last night. Um, oh, but we it, didn't? But it actually was it's really not. good. We learned it was so, great. We learned so much about Salem, about the witch trials, about all the shady stuff that went down. Mm -hmm. It was actually really, really good. Yeah. What'd you think about it, Meg? Yeah, I actually learned a lot of things that I didn't know. Um, about the witch trials, but also just the history of Salem in general. So that was super cool. And honestly, I feel like the best thing about it was that we did that our first night. And so now like going into the weekend to enjoy Salem, we know all of it in the history and what buildings mean what. And so that's pretty cool. It was yeah. a good way to start our trip. Yeah, it's it was really good. Our, <laughs> our tour guide was awesome. He actually moved here from California Mm -hmm. uh, because he was like so obsessed with like Salem and Salem history and stuff. So uh, it was really cool to have someone that actually cared and was like super yeah, into it. Yeah, he was so into it. We loved it. He called himself a <clears throat> like Salem nerd or something and he was just so cool. Yeah. His name was Cole, I believe. And yeah. what was the tour called? It was the Witch City Tours. So, so highly recommend. 
yeah, highly recommend. It was really good. It was a two hour tour, but it was totally worth it. It honestly didn't even seem like it was two hours. No. It went by so quickly. I was actually just shocked to hear you say that because I didn't know that. We'll actually tell you guys a little bit of what we learned as we go through, you know, the next couple of days here in Salem. Yeah, definitely. Then we went over and got some food at this pizza place. Do you remember the name? Flying Saucer. Flying Saucer. It was so good. They had these little garlic rolls they that were, we ordered. They had garlic knots and I, what were they called? Mm. Like space balls or something? No, space balls. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, but those were so good. That was probably our favorite. Yeah, it was and so good. I got a, I guess it's considered margarita. It's the Scarlet Witch. And that was really good because it's also a in-house infused tequila that they use with, it's infused with strawberry, pineapple, and one other fruit. I can't remember what, but it was so good. Yeah, it was, it was good. It was really good. But yeah, so now we're walking towards downtown. We've got some key things that we're gonna stop off and see along the way. And then we'll show you guys what we get into. <laughs> Also wanted to say that the downtown area was actually really cool last night. There are a lot of creepers <laughs> in their Halloween gear. A lot of people dressed up as Michael Myers. Yeah. Um, other characters I don't know, but I like recognize. There was like this person um, on stilts that was like eight feet tall. Yeah, an eight walking foot around. tall nun. And then, scary mask on. Uh, and then there was like a Michael Myers just standing in an alleyway. Yeah. It's kind of creepy because you're like, you're just a stranger. Hopefully you're not actually a murderer. I know. The and heck? people were going up and taking photos with them and they're like, they had like knives on their necks and I was like, that's just a random person. I know, very trusting of the stranger. <laughs> the downtown area is cool. So what we learned, I think we misspoke last night. The The guy said that they're, they actually already have had like over a million, right? Oh yeah, mm-hmm. Over a million people here. Well, that was, I believe that was in the month of October. Yeah, so crazy. Yeah. So they're expecting it to be shoulder to shoulder insane this weekend. So not looking forward to that craziness, but no. also it'll probably be a little bit fun. But we've also known that it was gonna be that way. Yeah, so. for sure. But yeah, I wanted to say that because I forgot to say it earlier. So, <laughs> but yeah, show you what you get into. All right, so we're at the House of Seven Gables, which it is so beautiful. So, so pretty. See in the background? It's not that crowded. Yeah, we got we're lucky. we're like shocked by. Yeah, we got lucky. But so. I think the reason for that is that it costs $12 a person to actually go see it. Mm -hmm. So we only did the garden tour. $24. $24 just to like, you know, basically see the house. So I can understand yeah. why. Well, in the gardens, you see everything, but <clears throat> I think it's worth it for sure. Yeah. So Nathaniel Hawthorne was inspired by this house for the book that he wrote, House of Seven Gables. I read that he was like a recluse, and yeah, I don't know. I guess it, I don't know anything about the book. I don't, yeah, me neither. But the house is super sick, and it kind of goes along with the theme of a lot of the houses you see in Salem, which is black paint and the beautiful gables and all that kind of stuff. It's a National Historic Landmark District, so that's pretty cool that something like this. And one thing I also want to mention is that it's right on the water. And after seeing tons of photos of this house, I never knew it was literally right here on the yeah. water. It's it's honestly such beautiful grounds. Like they yeah. have the pretty garden. Like really beautiful gardens. Cool. Yeah, it's pretty sick. But yeah, I, I mean, we paid $24 to be able to see it and you know, I don't, I don't think that's bad. I mean, no, I think it's great. Yeah, so it's really cool. And but it was a nice like photo op without yeah. a ton of people. You can pay for more to do like a more in, in depth tour of like going On inside the, the house and the stuff house. like that. But yeah. We're gonna head off to our next spot and we'll see you guys there. Let's do it. All right guys, so we're in downtown Salem. Megan's getting us set up for a little photo video hop. We're in front of the town hall where Max and Allison go for uh, the party that our parents are at. So they're trying to stop them 
because they're getting cursed by the Sanderson sisters. So yeah, we're gonna get a couple of photos right here and uh, we'll show you what they look like. All right, so we just got a photo in front of the Bewitched, Bewitched statue. statue. So last night we actually learned that that is a topic of controversy here yes. in Salem because I guess the show was moved here and filmed here at some point and people were very upset about the statue because it you know of fun at witches yeah because which is something they take seriously yeah because of the treatment of the actual witches that were executed here they didn't like that it took light of the situation so mm -hmm. I can kind of understand that oh yeah but yeah it's an innocent statue so Crazy we were too. fans of Bewitched. Yeah, we like so. Bewitched. <laughs> Two weeks ago, our tour guide was telling us that someone came by and threw red paint on her face. Deface the statue. Deface the statue. So regularly the statue gets defaced and people are still up in arms about it even though it's been here for a while. So, but yeah, we just got a photo. We'll throw it in right here. We'll show what it looks like. <laughs> So we're across the street from the witch's house. We're gonna go over there and get some photos. So this was actually the judge's house of the judge that accused and prosecuted, tried, tried all the witches during the witch trials. So I'm sure that this house is very haunted and evil. Supposedly this house actually used to be in the intersection right there. And whenever they expanded the roads, they actually lifted it and moved it over. So over the years, they've just been restoring it the and town keeping tried it. tried to tear it down. Yeah, the town tried to tear people it down. Saved it. At one point, they got rid of the gables, and then people protested that, and then they put it back. So, yeah, it's a pretty epic house, so I uh, can understand why people fought for it. A lot of history associated with that, too. So, But yeah, it's the witch's house, and you can actually go in, and it's got like a museum and stuff in there. But we're gonna get some pictures and video in front of it, and we'll show you what it looks like. So we're in front of Allison's house. Yes, which last night on our tour, I was like, oh, the only house that's like just a pretty house from the movie. It's so beautiful and not haunted or spooky. It is like one of the most haunted and like cursed houses. Yes. So, <laughs> kind of crazy. So crazy. So, so what we found out was that- The family that first lived here died tragically, all of them. One of the daughters, she took over the house and she was like 15 years old. And so she became like the richest person in Salem and at 15. And so she was like courted by all these people because she was so wealthy. And it's just so sad and crazy because she became like a recluse because of it. Well, she was in her bedroom and an ember from her fire in her bedroom flew up on her dress and lit her on fire and she burned alive that way. Yeah, and so so people actually say that in her bedroom window, there's people that have like seen her in the, in the window, like waving and there's like a little kid that was doing one of the tours, a little baby and was like waving and talking about the girl in the blue dress. Waving to her bedroom window, like while on the tour and the tour guide was like, oh my gosh. And he said, mommy, don't you see the lady in the window? And yeah. they didn't even know the story. <laughs> yeah, so pretty crazy. It's actually, um, you know, kind of wild that this is Allison's house, but it's actually really a disturbing yeah, it's story. Yeah, disturbing story. So. Completely separate from the movie. Yeah, but yeah, we got some photos and video in front of it and we'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, so we did the Witch Dungeon, which I didn't know what it was, Witch honestly. Witch Dungeon Museum. Witch Dungeon yeah. Museum. It actually was a show, so they came out and kind of did, talked about a lot of the things that we learned about yesterday during the tour. They basically prefaced the museum with a little like skit telling everything that happened leading up to the witches being put in the dungeon. Yeah. And then you do the walkthrough of the dungeon. Yeah. So, pretty cool. So this is actually the part where Max stops Allison and she gives the his phone number back to him. That's <laughs> where we just were, right over there. Oh yeah, okay. 
we walked back through downtown and downtown is so funny because there's so many little weird people like dressed up and stuff. <laughs> there, yeah, there's a lot of people dressed up. It's like super festive. People are stopping and taking photos with tons of people dressed up. It's, it's pretty, pretty cool. Oh pretty yeah. cool to watch. And there's a bunch of like street performers um, all set up, which is crazy to see. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's it's starting to get more lively as the day goes on and oh, yeah. I know tomorrow is just going to be even crazier. So, we are on our way. We're trying to find the school that Max and Allison went to in Hocus Pocus. Yeah. If we find it, we'll show you guys. <laughs> so, we made it to the elementary school. Or it's their high school actually, but it actually was called Phillips School. And I think it was an elementary school actually when it was functioning. Built in 1883. It's like, insane. Crazy. crazy. But yeah, that's where Max and Danny and Allison trapped them in the furnace and they come out the top of the, the roof there. It's just so funny. Uh, but yeah, we're going to get a couple of photos here and some video and we'll show you what it looks like. So we just finished eating at Mercy Tavern. Yes. One of the top rated places in Salem to go grab food. Mm -hmm. And we both had the cheeseburger and it was amazing. It was so good. Supposedly it's the best burger in Salem and I believe it. Yeah. It tasted really good. That's what, uh, that's what some people said walking by and we've heard people mention it and it's rated very highly on, on Yelp, so. But before that, we actually did, walked by the Salem Witch Memorial and we walked through that. We actually walked through that last night but we couldn't see too much because it was so dark. So we had to walk through it today while it was a little brighter. And it's actually, you know, they're, they're not buried there but it's actually just a, a place for remembrance and I thought it was cool. They actually have an open part in the fence so that the, the residents of Salem that actually died and prosecuted these people, <laughs> they, they left it open so they could see their memorial and see that everyone comes to Salem to remember them which yeah, I thought was really super cool. cool. One of the people I took a video of was Giles, what's his last Corey. name? Giles Corey. He was one of the most talked about people that we've heard in a lot of the things that we've done because mm -hmm. he's this 81 year old man who was tried. They tried for being a witch. And actually, if you said that you were guilty or not guilty, they still hung you either way. So he was smart enough to know that not to say anything. And so the sheriff in town tried to force Although it out of him. he accused his wife of being a witch. Yeah, he wasn't, he wasn't a great guy. He was, no. <laughs> he was still, but supposedly it was all stem because he was trying to make sure that his sons who were much younger got his wealth and everything Property. after he, yeah, after he since died. they were older, so. Yeah, so he was trying to do best by his family was his thought process supposedly I'm gonna blood? oh yeah <laughs> and uh so giles never answered the question and so they do this thing back then called pressing where they would like dig a hole and they would put a board on top of you and then start putting rocks on top so they did that for three days and to try to get him to say that he was guilty or not guilty. He never said anything for three days and just kept saying more, 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 until basically he suffocated after three days. And this man no, was 81 he was years smashed. old. Yeah, the, the grim story is that the sheriff actually jumped on top of his head and smashed his head in after he wouldn't say anything because he was getting so frustrated. Yeah, the sheriff is the dirtiest person of this whole situation. The sheriff and the judge were related, so they had, they they were in cahoots and trying to basically take everyone's wealth and, uh, you know, funnel it into their pockets. And they were not even qualified for the job. Yeah, crazy, so, so crazy. Moral of the story is, be good, stop spreading craziness. Yes. Because that's like our tour guide said last night, when you see something wrong, stand up for it. Yeah, yeah, stand up for good. And I thought that's really awesome. So yeah. but yeah, we're actually walking back downtown. We're gonna explore a little bit, see what's going on. Uh, probably get some dessert. We'll show you what we get into.
All right, so our last full day in Salem. Yes. <clears throat> and oh we're goodness. out and about. We are actually just arriving at Pioneer Village. Which um, I was not expecting to pull up to a baseball park. Yeah, <laughs> there's a baseball park right there, but there's the Pioneer Village right there. We actually bought tickets last night, so hopefully we'll be able to get in here shortly. There's a pretty big line. This is where, at the beginning part of Hocus Pocus, they're all out front and, or not all out front, they're like, that's where the kids and Zachary Binks and all them live. Yes. So we'll show you guys what it looks like when we get inside. so we are at Pioneer Village in Salem. This is our last full day in Salem, so we headed over this way. Pioneer Village opens at 12 o'clock on Saturdays only. It's a little outside of the downtown area, so you do need to drive or Uber here. Yeah, it's about 10 to 15 minutes outside of downtown. You could walk, but... You wouldn't want to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, so yeah, they're, they're only open from 12 to 4 on Saturdays, so... You have to get here at 12 because there is a little bit of a line. It didn't take us it long to get through. It wasn't too bad, but yeah, it was pretty quick. Yeah, but yeah, this is really cool. This is so the Pioneer cool. Village. We got a few photos before we got in yeah, from so some nice people. When you enter in, she said that everything past the bridge, which is right at the beginning, is in the movie Hocus Pocus. So that's pretty exciting. Yeah, that's awesome. So yeah, we're going to explore and uh, we'll show you guys what it looks like. <laughs> so we just got out of Pioneer Village and it was really cool. It was super cool. A lot smaller than I imagined. Yes. I understand the $5 charge because it literally takes two seconds. So. Yeah. Well, yes. But there were a lot of people, so you have to wait in lines. The actual like spots to go to or like little photo ops that they have set up for you take no time. Yeah. All yeah. Side by it's, side. it's really short, but um, yeah, I mean, obviously with the crowd and stuff, it takes a little longer. But yeah, it's not that big, so I'm glad that they're kind of reasonable on how much they charge you for that. We are actually on our way to Max's house, Max and Danny's house and it's just about a quarter of a mile from the pioneer village near the ocean and as you can see it's very popular on the weekends so they have the roads blocked off so this is the saturday <clears throat> before the weekend of halloween honestly like it was crowded but it wasn't as crowded as i expected it to be yeah yeah it's 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 crowded but it's not crazy supposedly you know these are residential houses and they don't want people hanging out in front of their house, parked all in front of their house and taking up their parking spaces. So they have the roads blocked off just for residents. But yeah, we're gonna get some photos out here and we'll show you what it looks like. So we just finished up at Max and Danny's house, as you can see behind us there. <laughs> That's where the top blows off and they fly out of the, the roof, right? The top blows off. And Does the top blow up? Yeah, yeah. I remember it like explodes out and they fly off with Danny. I thought it was just the puff of smoke. And then this is also the street where they're like in a trance. All the people of the town are like in a zombie trance and they're like walking down the road. Anyways, uh, everyone knows the scenes. This is Max and Danny's house and it's super cool. Definitely crowded, but not too bad. Yeah, it's you so funny that the lady that lives there is sitting on the front porch. She she's was like, like taking a nap as people were taking photos of the house. She's falling asleep on the front <laughs> on porch, the porch while people are taking photos. It's so, too cute. Yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, you gotta, 
navigate some people taking pictures, but it wasn't as crazy as you probably would expect on a Saturday. Well, and everyone's really sweet. Everyone's like, could you take your, or could you take our photo and we'll take yours? And yeah. everyone just kind of like transitions out, so. Disney fans, they're nice, you know? What? It's just Disney fans. Oh, yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we are probably gonna roll over to Marblehead Cemetery. Um, that's the last stop that we haven't seen from the Hocus Pocus movie. Um, it's pretty close by, so we're gonna drive over there and check it out and we'll show you what it looks like. Sounds good. So we made it to Old Burial Hill. This is actually a little bit outside of Salem. It's in Marblehead, Massachusetts. It's Still only like 10 minutes outside of Salem. This is where Max got bullied by <laughs> Ice and Jay. And Jay. Um, and so we're gonna go up here and check it out and we'll show you guys what it looks like. There's a dog oh going goodness. crazy right now. But this is actually a beautiful cemetery. Yeah, this it is. is really cool. You can tell it's really old because people yeah. are like buried right on top of each other. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll show you guys what it looks like. So we think we found the spot where they shot that. We think like, so. Like right there maybe? Or, no, right here. Show them, Meg. Around this area here. That tree's in the background for sure. Those are in the background and so is that white tombstone. Yeah. So I feel like it was this vicinity that they shot different for angles sure. from. Definitely. Which is so cool. So cool. We did a little a tiki tock based off of this yeah, we, scene. Yeah, uh, for 2020, if you check out our Instagram and even some of our TikToks, we did a little like <laughs> scene, which is terrible, but our outfits were too good. We had to do it. Yeah, <laughs> we'll throw it in right here. Hey, who are you? Max, just moved here. From where? Los Angeles. LA. Oh, dude. You got any cash? Hollywood? Maybe you could learn to breathe through your nose. <laughs> Whoa. Check out the new cross trainers. So we're going to get a photo and a, some video and we'll show you what it looks like. Guys, this might be one of the more beautiful cemeteries I think we've been to. Yeah, it's really, really pretty. Not that we're out here just visiting cemeteries, but <laughs> <laughs> one of the more beautiful we've seen, for you sure. No, but cemeteries are admired for their beauty, and this is one that's really pretty. Yeah, it's for really sure. It's really beautiful, you especially with the water yeah. in the background. And Marblehead, the town, was so cute as we were mm -hmm. driving in, and the, the water just on top of the hill with the sailboats, it's just beautiful. I didn't even know this was a like cute town. Like, yeah. Like it was so busy and it was really beautiful driving through. So it's a really nice little drive and scenic area. Yeah. So, so if you, cool. if you want to head over here and check out the cemetery, it's beautiful. Plus there's a really cool town nearby. So yes. totally worth it. I think we are about to get back in the car and head back to our place and then probably head downtown and catch the, the uh, second half of the haunted happenings today. It should be going crazy down there. <laughs> Probably so. So I can't wait to see what it looks like. We'll show you guys. So we had to step out of our Airbnb and get a few photos here because it's just too, too pretty. We super lucked out because like it's so hard to get a place in Salem and we actually just jumped on Airbnb right, you know, some random day a couple of months ago and uh, she had just listed it and it was so affordable and literally a mile and a half from downtown and this view is just absolutely nuts so yeah we had to get some pictures because take advantage of this spot but anyway we're gonna call an uber or drive i don't know which one and we're gonna head downtown and see what's going on at haunted happenings So we made it down to Washington Square. 
and it is going off today. So this is the market for the Halloween stuff that they have going on. And there's tons of vendors and tons of like food trucks and stuff. We actually just ordered a couple of lobster rolls from right here. There's Megan over there. But yeah, everyone's dressed up and it's really cool. Highly recommend this on a Saturday. It's really, really cool. But yeah, we're gonna get our food. We'll show that, show you what that looks like. And then we're gonna walk around the different markets and uh, show you what they have at the vendors. All right, so we went with the mini lobster rolls from the lobster roller. Megan got us some Cheetos. We were like trying to find a place to sit down because it is so we busy. Found the bench. Yes, it is so busy. But such a cool vibe, such a cool atmosphere. Yeah. We're gonna dive in. I'm starving. <laughs> and uh, after we eat, we're gonna look around. We'll show you what it looks like. So downtown Salem is currently crazy. Crazy! This is the craziness we've been waiting for. <laughs> it's way busier than the last two days that we were here. Yes, absolutely. Well, like, yeah, downtown. Like, even earlier when we were at Max and Danny's house and the uh, Pioneer Village, that was like nothing compared to this. Yeah. Same day. Yeah. But downtown's insane. So many crazy characters and costumes and creepy and all the stuff and yes. the markets. Yes. Everything's out and lively today for sure. So yes. it's exactly so what our tour guide said. It's like shoulder to shoulder, which I kind of like. It's yeah. kind of fun. It's exciting. Yeah. Uh, but we're actually going to hop into this chocolate store and maybe get a little sweet treat. And we're going to just shop around. Yeah, I'm sure we get into it. We had three cookies. We went with the flight, the only three that they had. Obviously, we were trying to try the gooey inside, <laughs> so we were breaking them apart to eat them. So we had apple jacks. That was this one, obviously. We should have like told you what they were before we yeah. ate them. This one that we've eaten. Don't most. show them our bites. <laughs> what was that one? So we had rice krispies. Yeah, rice krispie treat, apple jacks, and uh, midnight Milky Way. All really good, honestly. They were all really good. But our favorite was the Rice Krispie Treat, which is the one James almost didn't want to order. Yeah. He didn't think we'd like it. And that's like my favorite. I know. So we both love that one the most. Yeah. The Milky Way came in second. Oh, second place. And then Apple Jacks was third. But yeah. they were all really good. Yeah. But that Rice Krispie Treat one was like. It was the best, yeah. for sure. Yeah. So good. I highly recommend that spot. They also offer yeah, like milk to go with your cookies if you want it. Uh -huh. um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And then you can get, um, they have some really fun soft serve ice cream too. It was a little too cold for that, so we just went with the cookies, but we definitely gotta check this out. Yeah. All right, I think we're gonna head back to our place and uh, we'll tell you what we did tonight. Yeah, we have a lot new resume. So, Hi. we are in downtown Boston. It just took us 30 minutes to find parking. <laughs> it is so very, tough very to get parking here. It's very busy, it's crazy. It's literally before 12 o'clock on a Sunday and it's just so busy. But yeah, so we ended our time in Salem. Salem was amazing. We loved it. The haunted happenings was really cool. Oh, yeah. It was very lively. The one thing that I suggest to people from Salem is make some better shirts, man. Make some better better souvenirs. We need some better souvenirs in Salem. We were disappointed in the shopping as far as like getting us a nice Salem sweatshirt or like a cool t-shirt magnet. We found a pretty good magnet, but that was it. Yeah, 
We were yeah, so the, sad. the retail aspect was kind of a, a bummer, but everything else was amazing. But yeah, so we are actually on our way to New York, but we start, are gonna stop off here in Boston and explore a little bit before we hit the road. And we'll show you guys what it we looks like. We already love it. We already love it, yeah, it's very beautiful. Very so pretty. Yeah, we'll show you, we're actually headed to a really cool spot. We make sense Darling, we just make sense Okay guys, so we are at Acorn Street, which is known as the most photographed street in America. And it's also one of the oldest streets in Boston. It's original to Boston um, back in the day because it has the cobblestone pathway and it is so beautiful. So we'll show you the shots we got. Your lips on my lips Long with me, I'll be long with you Like a fire on a cold night Like Sinatra on a long drive you be long with me And I'll be long with you I belong with so you So we're currently on the Freedom Trail in Boston. We're in one of Boston's oldest, well, a guy said it was the oldest neighborhood, right? Yes, the oldest neighborhood yeah. in Boston. So what's really cool about this Freedom Trail is literally just a brick pathway that you can follow all the way through the city. It's one of the most popular trails that you can do here and one of the most popular things you can do here. And you can actually download an audio tour and it just kind of, once you get to the destinations, it tells you about uh, what, what it's doing. But we're actually not doing the whole trail because it's actually like three miles. And we're only doing about a mile of it. So we'll show you guys what it looks like along the way. This place is actually really beautiful. We're it's so beautiful. We're loving it. I wish it. we had more time in Boston. All the pretty architecture and everything is just unbelievable. Yeah, we would rather spent an extra day here than like visit Portland. Yeah, for sure. Is that I know. how you feel? Oh yeah, for sure. Well, we're gonna have to definitely make a trip back here. Yes. Like dancing in the moonlight, you be long with me and I'll be long. All right guys, that wraps up our time here in Boston. We're trying yes. to make it back to the car. It is starting to sprinkle a little bit. Rain <laughs> is coming. Rain. But yeah, we, we loved our time in Salem. We do wish that we would have made for more time in Boston. Yes, definitely. Boston is really cool. Yeah, we loved it. It's been a beautiful city to explore and it's been a really nice day to explore it. Nice overcast day. Yeah. Um, there's lots of cool things to see. So yeah. we definitely want to come back. For sure. Beacon Hill was really cool. Yes. Uh, the Freedom Trail had so many cool spots and areas yes. we saw. Lots of good history. Yep. Like a little bit of everything. Yeah. Which is super cool. And obviously a lot of American history here. Yeah. So. We saw Paul Revere's house. We mm -hmm. saw the one of the oldest bookstores in the country ever where Mark Twain published his books. Which is so cool. We saw where the Boston Massacre happened, like all of these historical things that you were taught in history. So mm -hmm. pretty cool. But yeah, Salem was awesome. We loved it. We had a really great time. Yeah, we loved it so much. This has been a great trip. We've really enjoyed Massachusetts. Yeah, so we're on our way to New York. Remember to like, subscribe, follow, share, yes. all the things. And thanks for following along. Yeah, see we'll you see you next time. Next one. This is where